slow down the action enough to give us time to observe and understand what is happening. This way we can see that this new factory load is a somewhat loose fit in this chamber and the bullet is not in perfect alignment with the bore, that the case doesn't contact the front of the chamber, but as the firing pin strikes, it moves the case forward so that it does. This gives a little head space, though not a dangerous amount. As the firing pin continues and fires the primer, notice that the violence of the flash backs the primer partway out of the pocket. As the powder is ignited and the pressure builds up, the brass case expands to completely fill the chamber, preventing any escape of gas to the rear. As the pressure continues to build, the case is forced so tightly against the chamber walls that it cannot move. But the brass eventually has to stretch in this area when the pressure is great enough to force the case head back against the bolt or breech block, the primer then being reseated in its pocket. As the bullet exits up the barrel, the pressure drops, the case cools and contracts enough to extract easily.